What's up, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. And today we got another motherfucking video. Um, this one is why when dealing with studs, y'all pick and choose when y'all want us to be dominant, bitch and Bella and too. Now, this is some shit I just was talking about. I would, well, I wasn't talking about this, but I was just talking about like, you know, studs getting pregnant, things of that nature. On my Instagram, go check me out at PODMG Records or at Lil Send Me The Goat. I don't know which one I posted it to because I don't be really caring about where I post to because, like, I for real, for real feel like business these days does become personal. So, you got to know who you working with personally before you even do business with them. So, I'll let you know what my opinions is on things that's outside of the business so you know if you want to work with me or not. You know what I'm saying? And my opinions on different stuff and... You know how my business feels because i'm a sole proprietorship or llc um how my business feels with things that's going on in the world so uh make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to the channel the poppy podcast and we are about to get into this content and y'all know this is not right without me doing a mukbang you know so taco salad you know what i'm saying little taco nacho whatever you want to call it that's what i'm getting into um, so if you hear me smacking, I'm sorry, but we better get into this video. Let's go. Some feminine women love to have them a stud. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? They love that they be aggressive sometimes and blah, blah, blah. But mm -hmm. then there's moments, you know what I'm saying, where the aggressiveness can also be, like, annoying to the feminine person. So it's like, when do we, why do you guys get to pick and choose when right. we can be aggressive? Mm -hmm. that's that's that i want to do it all across the board not just in conversation mode but it could be even like as far as like nurturing it's like my nigga if i'm coming in you know what i mean i'm making the bacon you know what i'm saying and then i'm frying the bacon mm -hmm. you know what i mean or whatever it's like right. at some point you know when do the lines do not get gray yeah right. it is. when when is it okay you know what i'm saying or whatever for me to be dominant full time and not for you just to pick and choose when i can be dominant Mm -hmm. When you stop picking and choosing, because if you can tell me that you're a woman mm -hmm. and I can do this and I can do that and I can do this, we'll do that. Period. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Royalty. And your girl Candy. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Royalties in Candyland. Land. So today, today, we about to get into this video, this huge, uh, huge girl. This adult <laughs> topic. Yes. All right. So, first of all, before we even mm -hmm. get into this video, make sure y'all are sturdy and up and can handle these conversations. Facts. Okay, okay get my nephews out of here. Please. All right. And now give them time. You know what? In their defense, it might be a couple 2019 year olds that could probably keep up with it. All right, well, keep up if you're here. Yeah. All right. But anyway, before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? Because you already know what it's like when the leave. It's on the island. Yeah, dig. Now, we got company in the bit. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Tootie Toot is in the building. <laughs> and your girl, Bella. <laughs> All right. Make sure you go over there and subscribe to Bella and Toot right Make now. Make sure y'all do. Link it. will be in the description. We we should just put each other links in the description. Yeah, we need to So do that we don't have to keep editing that exactly. And that's okay. That's aggravating. So, absolutely. That's, yeah. So, so um, Nick, do that. Thank you. Um, so, all right, this is what we're about to get into. Now, part one is on Bell and Tooth uh, channel, so y'all make sure y'all hit the link in the description. Now, well, my dude. question was... I'm question. already subscribed, but y'all already know. My is, <laughs> to the feminine women, yes. if you want a dominant person in your life, why do you pick and choose the oh, time? That's a question. All right. <laughs> why do you pick and choose the time when you want the person to be dumb? Right. So here's my example. We were speaking earlier about um, if you, what you were saying earlier? So basically I was saying, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, that sometimes you might go to somebody in a situation and that person could be completely at fault, you know what I mean, who you went to, and they can have a defense mechanism, you know what I mean? And the comment was, you know, my wife said, well, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it's how I or, or what I say back. Mm -hmm. make you feel a certain type of way because you're not you're not used to somebody responding along the lines that, of that. right so in <clears throat> our relationships we hear that a lot and i know we're not the only ones that a dominant person will hear a feminine person say well you're just upset because <clears throat> i'm responding back and right. that is a huge trigger for me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i want you to respond please if you don't respond then i don't know what you're thinking so i think this is just my opinion y'all can speak but I feel like... Right, and I hate when a person be like, you know what I'm talking about, and I be like, bitch, 
not to my girl, you know what I'm saying? We don't talk about that, but, it, you know, what are you talking about? Because I really don't know what you're talking about. Like, you, I know, I know y'all done had some of those situations. The person be like, you know what I'm trying to say to you? And I be like, no, I do not. Please elaborate. Like, feminine women don't want you to always be dominant when it comes to correcting things, right? But we did speak about how you can correct them better in their defense. Mm -hmm. Like, instead of saying you look mad, you look angry, use different words like, hey, did you flip a switch today? Mm -hmm. You know? Is right. it not so... It might be a little lighter today yes. on the happiness. Exactly. I don't know. Something different. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes them feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But how do y'all feel about you want a person to lead, you want a person to be dominant, but when it's time for you to be corrected, or you you may be wrong about something, or maybe you just didn't do that the way the person wanted you to do it. Right. How do you feel about Before that? Before you guys start to answer it, let me also broaden the spectrum just a little bit. Okay. I don't want it just to be down just to the point of uh, the response. Sometimes, and I'm gonna say this because we got a lot of family in, 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 in the comments and on the league, you know what I'm saying, or whatever like this. And you love, some feminine women love to have them a stud. They love mm -hmm. that shit. You know what I'm saying? They love that they be aggressive sometimes and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. But then there's moments, you know what I'm saying, where the aggressiveness could also be like annoying to the feminine person. So it's Boy. like, when do we, why do you guys get to pick and choose when we can be aggressive? That's, that's that I want right. to do it all across the board, not just in conversation mode. But it could be even like as far as like nurturing. It's like my nigga, if I'm coming in, you know what I mean. I'm making the bacon, you know what I'm saying, and then I'm frying the bacon, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, or whatever. It's like at some point, you know, when do the lines do not get gray? Right. Yeah, it is. When when is it okay, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, for me to be dominant full time and not for you just to pick and choose when I can be dominant? When you stop picking and choose, because you can <clears> tell me that you're a woman. And I can do this, and I can do that, and I can do this, but do that. Because you are a woman, and you can. Right. So, don't pick and choose when you tell me that I can be a woman, and I can do these things too. Right. But I'm allowing you to be dominant when, mm -hmm. when you're telling me you want to be dominant. Mm -hmm. So, right. when you're being dominant, I am supposed to do those things. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to fall in those places as a woman and fulfill those things. Now, when right. I don't fulfill those things, you are supposed to do, as a dominant person, whatever you need to do in that in that place but right. if you're going to come back and say well i can do these things i can do these things the moment that you say that well baby mm -hmm. do it. because you are one mm -hmm. that's where those roles change mm -hmm. and a man you'll never never hear that because he's man and i'm one mm -hmm. so i will always hear well you need to be doing what the fuck because he'll doing. never say i'm a woman exactly right mm -hmm. that's deep that's very deep mm -hmm. and you know why so i want to say if that you are dominant you need to be dominant don't now, tell me that you're not you know, because the moment I, that you tell me that you're a woman, that's, that's really I deep. understand that. Yeah, yeah I do it, too. Yeah. And the reason why I said that is because, honestly speaking, you know what I'm saying, me and my babe, we had a situation last night. You know what I mean? And how I, although sometimes these situations is small as hell and we as human beings make them completely different. Since we had the conversation about triggers, I could see four different times that I went wrong in our conversation last night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how when you talk amongst people, how you kind of see things from a different perspective. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys a little example of what happened last night. So basically, um, earlier on in the day, my baby said, I'm home. You know what I mean? And I was editing videos and doing some other shit. And she, by the time she mentioned it the second time, right. automatically, I'm like, shit, let me jump up and go make my baby see me. Right. Here. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I don't got to talk to you about it. I know to go get you something. I know right. Like, Period. Mm -hmm. But won't make it. You know right. what I mean? Point blank, bottom line. Now, we fast mm -hmm. forward, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, into the wee hours of the next morning. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind the task. You know, I'm editing, I'm doing a lot of shit. Keep in mind, I stop editing a little bit, make you fool early, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, to get back on. Now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I kind of want to snack. Mm -hmm. I said out loud, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? kind of want to snack. Yeah. And I'm going to mm -hmm. be completely honest. Her response wasn't like mine. You know what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't like, you know what I mean, let me get up with urgency. So mm -hmm. what she did basically is ask a question like, do you want me to go get something? Now see, that's a trigger for me. I know. That is a trigger for me. You know what I'm saying? It kind of goes back to what we was talking about earlier. Yeah, because I feel like 
it should be reciprocal. If you see me get up and I may not, I may or may not, you might not even know, I might not even show no signs of I'm irritated or I'm trying, I'm busy, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Sometimes we may not show signs of like where are we are stressed, you know, and men do the same thing. Like they will go out of their way to, you know, do certain things for their lady or whatever. And like, like earlier today, my lady was like, she wanted something to eat now. Right now, she sleep out of there. <laughs> Cause earlier I was sleep, you know what I'm saying? But I always try to, you know cater to her whatever she wants you know as soon as I can when I'm not like really tied down with doing whatever I'm doing but if it's something important like both of us need to eat and I see she's giving me hints like babe I'm hungry I know you're hungry so let you know let you stop for a second and let's get something to eat or let's uh cook together have some me and you time for a second and then you can get back to doing whatever you're doing you know i just i just want to make sure that you're eating and i'm eating and i know that sometimes she may not say that but that's what the interpretation that's what the interpretation i get you know and i love those moments where me and her just in the kitchen you know cooking or doing whatever we doing you know what i'm saying so i understand too where she coming from let's get back to it it's like I've already explained my need. You know what I mean? You my wife, so therefore you know my mannerisms. You know how I am. You know that if I'm busy and I'm like, I want a snack, basically I shouldn't say, baby, go fix me something to eat. Mm -hmm. Go accommodate me, okay? Mm -hmm. Now see, my problem is, nigga, you want me to be dominant and making sure that I run this shit. But see, I feel like that's your role to sneak in and make sure that I got me something to eat. Uh, you yes. know what I mean? So it's like, mm -hmm. all right now, if you want me to be the one to cook the food, then you got to be the one to make it make it. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel. So it's just like, that's why the conversation earlier was so much doper to me because I feel like I could have came into the situation a lot better. Now, instead of just being completely honest, like how you be saying all the time, nigga, just be keeping in front. I used to be one who would just kind of just eat that shit, go to bed, wake up the next morning and still act. So for this day, I'm trying to do something different to be honest. I couldn't go to sleep. I had to say something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. However... Right. How I said it probably didn't make the conversation inviting because I probably right they didn't say it to the best of my capability. You already slept on it. You was pissed. You know what I'm saying? And now this this was that night, so I hadn't oh, even been right. asleep yet. All you right. know what I'm saying? Before I went to sleep, I had to say something. Like normally, oh, I would, right. normally I would go to sleep, uh -huh. but I had to say what I wanted to say. But okay. at this point, I'm so aggravated to where even though I might have been right. The way that I said it Amen. was triggered. rude. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. we got two triggers in the hat. You know. And that's that's the, the that's the 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 mother nature side of a. I think two is a Virgo, so that's their way of like they they are very expectatious. Um. But I love it because they have a work ethic that does not stop. When I say like when I first think their videos. Two was pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing out the reaction, pushing them, just pushing them out. Like I couldn't, I couldn't stay up. I, tr I tried to follow the path. <laughs> Child, look here. When you try, I was like, man, I ain't gonna be able to do it on that level because I have so many obligations that I have to attend to. But I'm still doing my YouTube. I tried like when I'm not doing my schoolwork. As soon as Wednesday or Thursday hit. I get to upload about three, four, five videos because I feel like I'm behind. I got to catch up. And then, like, it kind of messed up my YouTube algorithm because, you know, YouTube is like, where you been? You ain't posted in three days. What you doing? Like, instead of me setting some videos, but I be wanting to, like, get that content out because usually I have to trigger the algorithm. Like, you have to... I don't know what it is. It's like a lottery system, kind of, sort of. You put up about three or four, maybe five videos. Out of those three, four or five videos, only one or two of them may do well. And the rest of them, you might not even get no type of views. Like, people won't see them or nothing. And I'm like, what the hell? 
You know what I'm saying? And I really started this channel. Shout out to Royalty and um, Candy, um, Candy Island, um, TT. Um, I heard them talking about, uh, well, Royalty was talking about, you know, uh, Stud Poppy, Colin Deers, um, you know, her boot thing. Uh, Stud Poppy and I was like bro I should come out with a channel called Stud Poppy Podcast like or Stud Poppy like ain't nobody got that so you know uh, shout out to them because they gave me the thought the interpretation I was like man I better change my channel name right now where I can for anybody hop, try to hop on this trend why not I hop on this trend and really just go crazy with the videos and really be doing what I need to be doing and now, you know, it's like, I see my vision. I, I can see that I'm going to hit 4,000 watch time arrows and with no problem. Hesitation. It might take me about another three months at the rate I'm going. But if I keep going and I be persistent and consistent, I'm going to be next up one of the biggest YouTubers out. I guarantee you. I guarantee I'm going to be one of the next biggest YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? If not the biggest, I'm be one of the medium to big YouTubers that people will at least know who I am. I mean, the trigger her not understanding the wife, my wife, and then my trigger and her of like, damn nigga, how you gonna talk to your wife? You see what I'm saying? So this is the thing. This is where it gets deep in that in that role because it's like my nigga, like. What you just said, Candy, just kind of solidified a lot of shit. Hell yeah. You know what I'm and saying? I'm going to take, I want to jump in. Yeah. My brother told me, because I talk to my brother sometimes, I haven't speak to a man, because you got to know, like, in these situations with women, like, duh, I'm a woman, but I don't know how to handle, I know how to handle, but in cer certain situations, I don't know how to handle that situation with my woman. Mm -hmm. So before I react like a woman, mm -hmm. let me ask my brother how he would react, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And with him, he was basically saying this. If you gonna be the man nigga be it. And that's literally all he had to say. So I'm like, what the fuck? It sounds I didn't so understand simple. it at first. Me and my brother been talking about this for years yeah. now. Yeah. So every time he responded the same fucking way. I mean, you said you gonna be the man. So I didn't understand that, right? Until recently, he said, nigga. He said it again. If you gonna be the man, yeah. be the man. Be so a as a man, they really got to carry the world on their back. They do. And this is when we have these discussions like, damn, I feel bad for the man. Yeah. That's coming from a feminine yeah, place. A feminine mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if, if the man's the responsibility time. is to hold it, do that. But here's my thing, and this is probably going to go into another conversation. <laughs> but me as a woman, like if you tell me, like, man, if I was with a man, right? And mm -hmm. he's like, yo, I'm hungry as hell, right? And this nigga just went out and worked, and I'm not working, and I'm at home. He would have already had a meal. And that's the difference between me and I feel like some feminine women. Because, nigga, if you the one holding it down, I'm going to make sure you got a meal. Yeah, I'm going to run your ass a bath mm -hmm. and whatever the fuck else you need. If you're the one holding you it You know down. why you're going to do that, though? Because I'm a fucking woman. Not only just that, too, <laughs> and then you're an aggressive woman, so you exactly know exactly what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. feel like what a woman can cater to so it's going to be easy for us to recognize those things before they get to talking this is another great point that you brought up too when it came down to natalie and easy natalie always dated men right right so she's used to men being me doing what men do okay yep. so i seen in the video where easy was like you know sometimes nigga, i want you to call me daddy but then you're saying i also want you to recognize my feelings right it don't make sense it don't but match Mm-hmm. It don't. But me, women should recognize men's feelings. They should, but it doesn't happen all the time. But you should. And that's where the breakdown comes from. It's so it's like I even in that because you can recognize a man's feelings because he is saying that you know he you can And he don't always yeah. express it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because it is it is a, a default here it is. with men. Yeah. Because men situations. will say to them, <laughs> yes. like, yo, baby, now nah, you good, I'll hold it down and then yeah. come have a conversation Session. with us yeah. right. at the bar, like, yo. Oh, I just want my girl to goddamn. Yeah. He telling me all this because he has a comfortability yes. with me, yes. but not with his woman. And, and I agree because yes. women say this all the time. Like, me, I be trying, but the nigga just won't. You know, like he won't even tell Back. me. Right. You know, yeah, right. so it's just, it's like we we never get what we want. Back.
Yeah. Yo, that's great. That's great. Yo, this <laughs> is like good a shit. Whole bunch of yeah, you can practically, you can that. practically yeah. beg. You can practically beg them to do that. And and some of them, not all of them, some of them will open up to a certain extent. Yeah. They won't open up all the way Fact. because us women, we are that. Yes. We are humans like that. We built right. like we that. are the yeah. gateway. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We, yeah. are, we open up more than them. Yeah. So when you when you're pressuring them to open up, it's almost like, damn, bitch, you're trying to get in my soul. So they don't like that don't shit. Like you that. trying yeah. to get in my soul. You, you the police. Know we don't like that, that shit. That, that, it's a, it's a different. And I get it that. Deep. Me too. It's when a not, different. I'm deep too. Us, okay. We're, okay. we're women. We like that shit. All right. Mm -hmm. So it brings me back. <laughs> be aggressive. Right? Hold the foot down like a man would. So don't be in the hood of our house. I'm sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. No, that's good though. <laughs> no, it's good because nigga, I've been to talk two hours and okay. then you be pissed off. So my thing is this thing. And this is gonna be just for my films and my studs, okay? Because you just said something that was very, very good. You just said, well, we are just things that we're going to use. Right. So why do sometimes studs feel as if we're not existing? Because the thing is this. You're saying we women and there's just certain things that you should understand and you should get with us. We should never feel as if, you know what I mean, it's not being reciprocated. There's going to be things that I would do for my woman. Right. Because as a woman, I know what to do. I'm still a woman. So sometimes I feel like I shouldn't ask for certain things. Because right. you know what I am made of. I mm -hmm. should not feel incomplete. Like, I'm not telling you you got to bitch me out, but there's going to be moments where I'm going to need to be motherfucking nurtured for my fucking female. And if you want it from me, why wouldn't you feel like I would desire the same shit? Because they don't look at us like they do. She has said that a So if that's the case, it goes back to the other shit. So if you don't look at us as a woman, being that mm -hmm. you know, say you look at yourself like that person. Mm -hmm. The way that you present yourself, the very first day that she present herself to me is basically if I hold this shit that brother told me was scary. If you would have came to me as 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 a as that aggressor, but wanting me to really, you know, be that feminine way with you, I would I would know both sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm begging her to show me a side of her, and she won't give it to me. Yeah. Why? Because she got this dominant. See what I'm saying? The man thing. Time. It's the man thing until I show my woman's side. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem. But he, maybe it's not a problem. It's not. At it's the end a of the day, because you, you don't want to show it. Yeah. Right. And, and and sometimes I deep. don't. And it's sometimes deep. I don't. But sometimes. I, you're right. I do expect you to just like come See? on, yeah. because See? as a woman, I you, ex do. you expect them to automatically know. Big period. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that, but big period. Like it gets to a moment where like studs. I mean, no, film sees studs as men. Okay, and if you don't show that sensitive side, see me. I knew what I was doing. I showed my sensitive side first. I was caring, I was loving, whatever you need, I got you. But I showed my other side like, man, I don't know what to do. You know, these people, I know they are gonna switch up on me. Baby, what I need to be doing, like before we was even together, I'm like, friend, like homie, like I'm asking her what we what I'm supposed to do. She was like, "Man, fuck this. I'm about to come up there. I'm about to see what the fuck going on. I want to see what the fuck you going through." Like, and I was like, "You know, whatever you do, don't go off on nobody. But you know, if they if you see a motherfucker cross the line, let them know they crossed the goddamn line. Like you ain't appreciate that. Cause at the end of the day, my lady know I'm a sweetheart. I do anything for anybody. I, I'm talking about our wild mouse one." parents sister brother it don't even matter if you need something i'm trying to do it for you if i can if i can't i try to let you know i don't like uh i really don't like to tell people no you know what i'm saying but in some cases i have to tell people no like you know what i'm saying look i gotta focus on me you know what i'm saying and that's what this part of my life i feel is now like i been have to 
to tell people like, nah, I don't think I can do it at the rate that you need me to. So you might have to have a backup plan if I can't come through. You feel me? Because I'm working on me. You know what I'm saying? I've been on you. I've been on YouTube for ten years, bro. People know they didn't see me. I had different channel names. I know they probably like, what the hell going on? Man, I didn't have people come up on my channel. I had people report me. I had people report my videos. And now that's why I only rock with the people who I know that gonna appreciate my support when I react to their content. You know what I'm saying? And you know. I know my people when I know my people. You feel me? And that's all I'm going to say about that. But I had to step outside myself. Like. And let the females know. Like before my lady. That I'm with. Now my fiance or whatever. I have to let them know. I had to let them know. Look. I don't want to play with. Look here. I am sensitive. I'm a motherfucking Aries bitch. Bitch, I will let you fucking know how I'm feeling. I wear my heart on my motherfucking sleeve, Jesus. But don't you ever think just because I wear my heart on my sleeve that you could try to play me like that. Because I ain't the one. I'm telling you, I will switch in 2.2 if I feel like you're trying to play me. And that was my whole thing. Like when I used to be in school and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not to get off topic and everything like that, but... Used to be in school, motherfuckers just take my nicest for kindness, and then one day this bitch tried to, she tried to empty my shit out in front of motherfuckers and shit. Well, did empty my shit out. I tried to wreck this bitch, and then the principal, I tried to tell her about it, and she, I like she wasn't hearing me, so I told the bitch, like I told, I cussed that, <laughs> I cussed that principal clean the fuck out. I said, bitch, huh? the fuck, you let this motherfucker do this shit, right? And then the cops trying to stop the shit, and I'm like, bro, but y'all just. Y'all ain't got nobody in here monitoring these hallways and watching these motherfucking kids do what the fuck they doing. And that's why you got kids out here outside smoking, uh, doing whatever they doing. Because y'all ain't paying no attention. Y'all worried about that check, but y'all ain't worried about checking up these kids. And that's the reason why a lot of these schools getting shot up. That's the reason why a lot of this, all this shit going on. They ain't got hallway monitors. You know, motherfucker, they check it. If you out, if you ain't, you know, make sure... They check on the kids if they go to the bathroom and they've been in there longer than 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that's supposed to be going on in these schools, but it's not happening. But um, that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. But just had to come address this shit. But a man would women. just go and but the way, but the way exactly. But I also feel exactly. like it's confusion with them too now. Because if I do that... Maybe you might be offended and like think I'm treating you like a woman. <laughs> like maybe you think I'm being, I'm trying to get to your feminine side, but whole time you showing me masculine right now. So bitch, I don't know who you showing me today. Who are you today? Mm. Because at the end of the day, I will say with easy, I did realize that. Like, mm -hmm. because at the end though. When she said, like, I want, this is not about them. This is not about them. Mm -hmm. But when she did say, I want you to, I want you to call me daddy. When she said that the whole conversation, I'm thinking, but you was being feminine the whole conversation. How could she, how could she how really, could like, call realistically daddy? call you daddy? Yep. Right. And your ass is acting like Mama Tika right now. Like, okay. she, no, 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 because no, she basically was saying, like, I can't even be intimate with you right now because we're not connected. So if you're not connected. You know what I mean? But you want to be called daddy because men can fuck. Men, men can fuck. Can fu and I they, they, don't about about no, they don't care about no they emotions. Do not, and that's what that's what Natalie is not. That's what's not connected. It's not connected. Exactly. Because she like nigga. I argue with niggas all the time and he and still need this thing from and, me. And see, so and what see. Are you talking about? That's, and so that's we went through it's, that. That's why I said what I said because I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, easy. Natalie might just need to be thug, and it's not her fault. It's because of learned well, she behavior. Used to, She's used yeah. to being with men. Men are not as emotional as we are. Mm -hmm. A man can we can a man can argue with his woman at three thirty five and be dicking her down by three fifty. And she gave and, 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 she and, and, and easy gave Natalie that. Yep. And I don't want to say gave her that to get her in because but we're naturally she, that's how who she we are. are. But that's oh, how she's so, used to communicate. Yes. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how she used to communicate. We're, we're naturally who yeah. we are. And, and like, if I were to sit here and act feminine, that would be an act. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm not a feminine person. Mm-hmm. But I have feminine moments Me because too. I'm a fucking bitch. Mm-hmm. And also we have a period. So it's like, oh, I always call us aliens yeah. because we are just not like the average woman. We're, we're not. not. We're not. Mm-hmm. And it's, it, it, I can see why it could be confusing for y'all because it's all for, like with TT sometimes I'm like, no. Sometimes I can tell what she's like. Okay, should I cook or should I let you? Because right. at the end of the day, the man in me gonna tell her what to eat. Hear me now. Mm-hmm. The Drink. man in me gonna Drink. say, "All right, baby, we about to have steak and eggs." She gonna be like, "Yes, sir, big daddy." Mm-hmm. But if I say, "But baby, what you want to eat?" She gonna be like, "Bitch, I don't fucking know." That's the girl side. Yes. Bitch, I don't fucking yep. know. That. Do Got you it. get that? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So sometimes now with food up to the point, I'm like, what you want to eat? I don't know. Okay. We're going to do chicken wings and tater tots. Got it? Yes, sir, big dad. Mm-hmm. That makes the difference. Yes. Yeah. Or she can say, can we do chicken wings and breakfast? Big. All right. The point is I've made the decision. And that is the difference mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. the feminine side and the masculine yes. side. So I do get why they confuse. Mm-hmm. I do get why Natalie was confused when that nigga said, I just want you to call me dead. Nah, nigga, you gave me you all this feminine that activity, yeah. though. You, gotta you, you earn do. Daddy. You do. You gave me all this. I, you could probably fuck me like daddy. Mm-hmm. Right. That, we can fuck you like daddy. Period. Yeah. But Period. out here, in these streets, but out here the rest of it after that, after that is the feminine. I agree. That's 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 spot on. That's mm-hmm. a damn good conversation. That was that was a great that was a great conversation. Yeah. I love that. I feel every time we have these group, group discussions and stuff like that, I feel like it's, it's, it's what you call this is what you call friendship there. Yeah. yeah. You know and I feel like we all need it. You know what I'm saying? It's very very healthy to be able to have people encouraging you to do not only the right thing but also be right. minded to know. Like sometimes nigga, you gonna be wrong. You fucked up. You fucked up. You wrong. Mm-hmm. You did this backwards this motherfucker, nigga. And we need that accountability. And if you right. get it from your friends, and who, 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 who can you get it from? Right. right. Who you gonna get it from? Yeah. Well, that was amazing. It was I very hope good. Did you get something? From yes. This? Yes, I did. I got a lot from it. I got a lot good, from it. Good. 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 From well, we are gonna have more discussions like this, y'all. The, the issue is the distance. We live very far away from each other. So y'all go ahead and compile a whole bunch of things so we can just make all. So we can do it all in one day. For real. Yeah. yeah. We can probably honestly, we done did like eight videos. Yes, yeah, sure. We right. probably knock out twenty today. We do need outfit changes. We yeah, need to do that. Yeah. But other than that, y'all, we're going to figure it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, but y'all just please. drop discussions and things like that Word. you want to have. And it don't have to be just to lesbian relationships, my nigga. Open your brain to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We want to talk about everything because we be on these niggas too. Yeah, yeah that's You're trifling sometimes. But right. there's some kings out there and as they well. Need to be, so, yeah. They need to be top of that. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. If, don't get me on the women. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, right. Right. Start, yeah. Yeah. Y'all just let us know what y'all want to see, man. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Until the next time. Peace. Man, I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love being able to, to see that. You know what I'm saying? See my, my people. See, you know what I'm saying? I rock with them heavy. You know what I'm saying? All, all of their channels, even their individual channels, I rock with them all. And I feel like that was something great to talk about. And I really enjoyed it. I'm about to be reacting to all the videos that's coming up next. So just get your popcorn ready. Because tonight going to be the night. All right. We we going through it. You know what I'm saying. But until next time. I holla. Peace.